Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is a six round national light world tower challenge bout. And introducing your fighter, first off, fighting from the blue corner. As at weigh in, this fighter weighed 63.5 kilogram. He is the fighting pride from Lewis Boxing Promotion. He's known as Taye No Mercy for Jimmy. And this opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting from the red corner. As at weigh in, this fighter weighs 64 kilograms. He is on golden and black boxing trunks. Solomon, Sola, Adeyari. And your judges for this bout were Hap Martins, Shea Judge, Shago Adesanya. And the third man on the ring when the action begins is Tayo Olaifa. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're ready for some boxing actions. Fighters to the center. Good evening, boxers. My name is Tayo Life. I'm the ref for this fight. I want you fight guys to protect yourself at all times. Listen to my command at all times and keep it clean at all times. Good luck. Touch gloves. This battle is scheduled for six rounds. Seconds out. Round one.
Seconds out. Round two. Alrighty, you're welcome to uh, the indoor sports hall, uh, known as the Mola de Ocala Famous Hall of Tasneem Balogun Stadium, a venue of uh, D Lags Boxing Promotion, uh, another night of boxing right here, coming out of Nigeria. My name is Nero Adesoy, and I'm in the, in the commentary box with none other than Janita. I don't I like to call him the Golden Boy. Chanisa, how are you doing? I'm, yeah, I'm doing great. You can call me the Golden Boy, it doesn't matter. But I love the <laughs> hurricane, an angel of boxing. Himself. Well, Janita, it's been a, a straight out of the box. It's absolutely massive here. Six rounds, national light welterweight challenge bout. Taye Fajini, uh, who weighed in 63.5 kilograms, up against the one they call Sola. That's talking about Solomon Adeyari, who weighed in at 64 kg. Exactly. It's been an explosive first two rounds that we have seen out of six. Round um, three! The fans are excited, everybody's excited. We've got nine more bouts to go. But what are your thoughts so far? So good. Second round, going in round three. Yeah, I think it's a good one for Tai Fajimi. And um, this is the second fight, I think, professionally. And I think he's done much, much better now. He throws his punches much, much quicker. And he moves much quicker, so it's good for him. So also is Sulma Dieri. He has a huge fan base. He wants to impress the crowd. So he must do all he can to make sure that his, the tight stays on the side. Yeah, both of them uh, still trying to cut their teeth in professional boxing. Yeah, they, they, they've been fighting the hand there, but uh, they've not really fought at the bigger stage. And uh, this is a very good opportunity for them to stand their authority and get a lot of the other promoters as well to be aware of them. And uh, so far, so good. Sola seems to have a lot of fans, but that man, Taye Fatimi, is not giving Sola any breathing space at all. Oh, there's no breathing space for Sola, and Fatimi is going in and out of this man. 
and Sola is taking all the strength to stand by and make sure he doesn't actually miss his steps while fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Hurricane. You can call me The Angel of Boxing and we are live here at the Lads Boxing Promotion at the Kestlin Balagun in the Sports Hall. And we are standing, sitting side by side with Nero at this time, legendary Nigerian boxing sports commentator. We are doing this together. Yes, we're going to be doing this together, and uh, that was something close to a knockdown there, but uh, referee uh, had to rule that off. Uh, that's talking about uh, the referee uh, tire life, uh, saying that that was not a knockdown. It was actually a slipper, but like I said, Sola needs to really watch it. He's the one who has a lot of the fans here, uh, but he looks like he's the one who has a lot to lose as well, uh, because this young man, Tayo Pajini, is really taking the fight to him. Indeed, yes, so good fighters. I wish them all the best in this um, stage of their lives because it's the, it's the best time to showcase their, 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 their talents and all of that. So I wish them all the best so far the fight goes on. Once again, both boxers, you know, having a good look at things. Uh, I, I think if you look at both of them, you want to think that Sola seems to be the more polished boxer there. But uh, sometimes as well, when, when you allow your opponent who is a bit more, you know, rough around the, uh, around the edges, he could, you know, steal the right fight away from you. You, you look at the way the uh, um, Sola is uh, avoiding those punches, the way he's weaving himself, but he's also allowing himself to be drawn into the style of fight that Tayo Fajimi is bringing, which is also making his fight look very rough as well. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And um, Sola is really being the man taking all the jabs, but he's doing a great job on, on, the, def on the defensive. He's doing a great, great job. And a straight, straight punch coming from Fajimi, taking uh, uh, Sola to the ringside, and the hook misses. And you can see what Ty has been doing now. He's gaining a lot of confidence. And he's, uh, uh, he's making Sola throw a lot of wide, wide punches. And he's not, you know, look at that combination again. Sola is saying, bring it on. But you know what? You, you need to throw punches as well. Because that's what the judges will look at at the end of it all. And the third round, right here. Beautiful Two boxes. Show. Very, very explosive. Very explosive. Moving into the third round, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a superlative second round and two boxes showing their spirit in fighting. And we're moving on to the third round, which is, I think is going to be much more explosive. As we look at the replay, we can see Sola being taken to the ring and Fajimi doing some justice. And the good miss is there. It shows that the boxing is, is actually showing some, some proper um, flashes of greatness in them. And um, I hope that I will put them in the third round. All the best out actually in the third round. Seconds out. Round four. Into the fourth round now, and uh, still not a lot to separate these guys. Um, Sola comes with a lot of reputation, but unfortunately, unfortunately so far, so good for it. Uh, for Tai, Tai, Tai hasn't really shown that he's the the young kid on the block. He's really bringing it up against Sola, who needs to step up really. And you can see the way Tai Fajini is uh, really hunting Sola down in this bout. And you can see he's he, he's winding his arms, doing all the things that that shows confidence. Look at the way he does that. Miss Fajimi is very, very, very um, quick in his uh, um, movements, so to say, today. And Sola is actually bringing all his firepowers to Fajimi. And Fajimi just taking a duck. Sola needs to bring a lot more. I, I think he's being too cautious. And that's because Taye has put him in that level. Taye has made him understand that he's not here to, you know, to count the bridges in Lagos. He's here to actually make his mark. And uh, he's forced Sola to change his approach into this fight and now Sola is now being over cautious look at that he keeps throwing punches and he's you know he's missing those punches and all, all Sola needs all, all Tyre needs to do is be a bit more composed be a bit more you know uh, uh, um, bold about it take risks and then he'll probably score a lot of points oh you're right it, he has to be more composed take the risk and step in his jabs make sure it connects more properly with all the wide shots that um, Sola is throwing if Fajimi could take advantage of that they could, be, they could see a stoppage in this fight I agree with you on that, absolutely. 
those jabs still coming again you can see that really troubling you, you see you see solo again you see because he has a lot of fans here he throws those punches and when he misses them there's a whole lot of you know noise about it but it he doesn't, he doesn't count on the judges' scorecard. Look at that. Look at those combinations again. Look at them. Coming from Sola, I don't know why he chose those white punches, but don't. Fajim is very, very quick. So by now, you should have known that this, fight, uh, this boxer is a quick boxer. So those white punches will actually be in range for, to enable him actually meet, hit his targets. And then he's retreating a lot to, in, into the corners and the ropes as well. And this is not going to work for him. You know, he, he's... He looks like a boxer who likes to fight off the ropes, but he has not worked in this situation. So it might be uh, time for him to change his strategy. Yes, I think so too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been beautiful watching this bout. It's the last boxing promotions and it's sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control and then, um, led by Dr. Rafael Ladiko. We are live here at the Testing Balladons in the Sports Hall where we are seeing some classic boxing show from two Nigerian fighters, Taif Ajimi and Solomon Adori. End of the round once again. Goes out round five. Penultimate round of this uh, very first bout of the large boxing promotion, and of course, uh, this uh, boxing night is sanctioned by the Nigeria Boxing Board of Control and the West African Boxing Union. Wabi, it's reaching you live from the Malaria Corner Thomas Hall of the Sustain Balogun Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. Best of Nigerian boxing. Uh, going out lovely lovely combination there coming from Taif Ajimi and uh, I don't know Solomon tried to claim that it was a rabbit punch I didn't see any rabbit punch there that was a very lovely punch right landed and uh, once again combinations coming from uh, good body punch there and uh, all of a sudden you see as far as I'm concerned Taif is doing a great job he's actually doing a great job and Fajimi knows it and I can see him bringing all his effort into the into this fight, and Fajimi is just doing some justice. A good shot here coming from Sola as it takes a quick jab on Taif Fajimi, who says, "Bring it on! I'm ready." With good pop punch coming and a good duck there also. These two boxers are actually doing what they know how to do best on the ring. They do have the energy, but the, 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 the problem here is that they need to be more polished. They need to be more accurate in their punches. There's too many wild punches flying all over the place. And all of a sudden, it does look like Solomon Adeyeri wants to step up. I mean, he's now coming into the center of the ring, trying to hold his own. And that's what he should have done earlier on. You know, going, stepping back all the time does not give a very good impression of himself. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. But I think anybody who can take advantage of those wild punches will, be the, will take the day. Because those wild punches are actually coming in. And a good fighter will actually take advantage of those wild punches to actually counter and do the damage. As you can see, those quick double jabs coming from Sola. Chases his man down the ring and Sola knows how to do that. He's clinching, make sure, make, making sure that Sola, that Fajimi has no room to move around. And um, Sola coming again and the hood wood coming from um, Taya Fajimi. Wow, those punches are hitting hard and hitting the targets. These two Nigerian boxers are indeed superstars in their own right. Nero? Yeah, I, I think... A bit of um, tiredness is beginning to creep in, especially for Sola. I mean, both of them, to be honest, but uh, Tayo Fajimi has been the one who's been able to manage uh, the situation so far. And now you can see Sola really desperate. He shows a lot of desperation. And uh, if Tayo Fajimi has a lot of ringmanship, what he needs to do is manage this fight because he needs to be. Look at that. He has his man. He had his man on the ropes there. I thought he was going to follow up. 
Because his, his man wasn't always. Uh, so, so I don't know why Fajimi didn't follow up with those, those, uh, those combinations when he had a man on the ring. Well, I think he got scared of himself. Well, <laughs> not, I, I don't know what it is, but he had, he had his opportunity, and that's the end of the penultimate round. One more round for us to go Ladies and gentlemen. in this very first bout of the night. It's indeed been explosive. Taya Fajimi and Solomon Adieri doing some magical walks on the ring. And uh, the fans are excited, the fans are ex In fact, they are off the, 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 the roof, calling for some more actions, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving on to the round of six in this light welterweight challenge fight between these two Nigerian boxing superstars. As you can see in the replay, you can see the chasing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the round of six, the final round between Taya Fajimi and Solomon Adeyeri. Ladies and gentlemen, Lagos State Nigeria, stand up! But this is the lads boxing promotions and we're live here at the Teslim Balogun Indoor Sports Hall. And uh, this bout is sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control, the NBBFC, and the West African Boxing Union, Wabo. We are on the way at the round of six. Fajimi takes his jabs quickly to Sola as Sola takes the dog. Both of them showing some exceptional skills there as we can see the um, Fajimi taking the power shots on solar and solar actually taking the shots absorbing the shots and then bring it on and quick wide range shots there coming from um, solar makes it a no-no for too, too many just yeah. too many too many wide shots coming from uh, uh, Solomon, and, that's that's another another one. and Boot boxes it down. It is not a knockdown, says Tayo Life of the referee in the man in the center of the ring, but Boot boxes it down. I think it's a slip. Yeah, it is uh, from the bo from both of them, but to be honest, they could have done a better job. And, and I thought that Sola got away with uh, murder there. Yeah, honestly, because I saw uh, something close Tayo, Tayo literally landed a left jab there that could have cost him, but uh, uh, you know, the, the whole situation surrounding that jab made it look like it wasn't really n nice one coming from Sola. What a movement there from both boxes. Look at that jab again from Ty. Ty now using those jabs a lot and he's really catching Sola. Good one movement, but head movement said this box is actually doing something good on this ring tonight. There's so much energy but these guys need a lot of training. It's just obvious that they do need a lot of training and uh, I mean, they got energy. They got, rock out with, you mean they, to they, they need to. They need to bring us a lot of style. They need to bring a lot of composure. They need to be a, bring a lot of accurate punch. Look at this combination, what he did, and he's catching Sola. With that, with, he caught him with that body shot, and the movement from Fajimi makes him look so slicky. And Sola is always on the clinching side. I think both boxes are actually doing some good job here. And the miss is that, and the jab throws the head back of Sola. And Sola is still standing. I really don't know how long, but he's still standing and he's still bringing the fight to Fajimi. With all those rapid punches coming in, both boxes hitting themselves from the wild ranges, and Tayo Alifa steps in to separate those fighters for the boxing to continue. Tayo, Tayo has got his hands full this evening, and uh, he's putting a good shoot, I must say. Actually, he's seconds left in this one. And the fans are getting excited. Every ticking of the seconds that comes in, the fans are getting excited for the uh, favorite um, fighters. And the Moise coming again, and Fajimi takes his battle back to Sola, and it makes him, takes him back to the ring. Nice one there, uh, nice left to right combination, another good job there coming from Fajimi. That's exactly what he should be doing at this point in time. And he's talking, he's, uh, I said it earlier, too many jabs coming Ladies and Sola. gentlemen, this is the end of the round, the sixth round, the National Light World Tower Challenge, and Nigeria is standing up for these two Nigerian boxes. Absolutely, they've given up a good uh, account of themselves, and uh, I don't know. Well, well, I have my own. I, 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 I think if you ask me, I, I would say Tyler Fatimi has edged this, but we'll have to wait for the official. You know, look at that. That was well, that's where the slip came the in. That's where the slip. That's where the slip came in. That's a replay. Yeah, but interestingly, both boxes went to the ground yes. almost at the same time. You can see them there. I got, you can see where we're right there is no knockdown. There was no knockdown in any way. And then there you have it. Yes. 
Pisa, your white party, Wenganasa, to give us official uh, decision from the judges. Yes. Right here at the Maladeo Kaya Famous Hall of the Steam Balogo Stadium. Very uh, blue lights boxing promotion night of champion today. It's another good one. Two bucks is showing the same sportsmanship as the hand to walk around in a handshake of both corners. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed beautiful spot science of boxing. the commentary box here, Tyler Fajidi, looking really good, troubling uh, the man himself, the popular uh, Solomon Adeyari Sola, and uh, never gave him a good uh, a breathing space at all, make sure that everything that both of them went for was all right there, and of course that's exactly what it is. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful evening to 